Good evening, space flight enthusiasts. We have a special bulletin for you folks at the moment. After what appeared to be an auspicious beginning to their mission, the Senzhou 21 crew aboard the Chinese space station at Tiangong is in trouble at the moment. Not serious trouble, at least not yet. We don't have a lot of details, but nevertheless, things were looking so interesting and so happy aboard their space station. I mean, these guys were carrying out a Chinese barbecue on board the station. Look at what they were making there. I have to admit, this flies in the face of all of the ideas that we have about astronaut food. That just looks scrumptious, what they were making up. Up there, but unfortunately, what was a very happy and entertaining time on board the station has turned into a grim situation. The Senjo 20 spacecraft, which the crew on board was supposed to use to return to Earth, in other words, the craft that had been docked to the station for quite some time, has apparently suffered some kind of damage ostensibly from space debris. And this is going to be a growing problem as time goes on. This is actually not the first time that this space station has been subjected to space debris damage. Its solar panels also took some damage as a result of a piece of space junk hitting it back in 2023. The station had to operate under reduced power until the damage could be repaired. And as I said, this is going to be a growing problem. Granted, China contributed a bit to this problem by carrying out an anti-SAT missile test almost 20 years ago now that created quite a lot of additional debris in orbit. But that being said, the United States did the same thing in the 1990s, and Russia did this as well a lot more recently. And with a lot more debris that's presented a significant threat to astronauts in orbit in recent years. In any event, we don't know how serious the damage is, although it does appear that this may prevent the Senjo 20 crew, which has been on this station for quite some time already, over six months, from going home. What's going to be necessary if the damage is too significant is the Senjo 20 crew will go home on the Senjo 21 spacecraft that recently docked with the station. The Senjo 21 crew will then be stranded there essentially until a rescue ship can be dispatched. In the meantime, if the space station runs into any sorts of emergencies, if any debris crashes into the station causing a decompression, Depression, requiring an emergency evacuation, the Taikonauts will have nowhere to go. They will have nowhere to evacuate to except to a damaged spacecraft, which they will have to ride back to Earth, hoping that it will hold together long enough to successfully bring them back home. However, the odds of something like that happening are pretty slim. I would say that China has a plan in place to deal with this situation. I think that they will have a good chance of successfully bringing all six Taikonauts home safely. Just a bit late, but still, they should be able to bring them home safely. I will keep you up to date as to their well-being and to any rescue plans that may develop as time goes on, although we need to keep in mind that the CNSA is controlled by the Chinese military and isn't going to be very forthcoming with information probably, especially if it's bad news. Nevertheless, I'll let you know everything I can find out. And until next time, stay angry about space.